Hey everyone, thanks for joining us again. We had a great first week of the Magnet CTF Challenge. Uh, with me today, we have Jessica Hyde and Tara Melton uh, joining us again for week number two. How are y'all doing today? Great, uh -huh. another great start of a week. Yeah, another, another week is down. We're getting closer and closer to uh, Christmas and uh, you know the holidays. And uh, <laughs> obviously we have a lot of Canadians participating in this. And I just want to say happy Thanksgiving uh, to you happy guys. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving yep. to yep. Our friends up north. <laughs> For Halloween, I just can't get my mind around that. You know, know. it's all out of order. Um, <laughs> So yeah, we had a great first week. Uh, we apologize for the uh, little issue that we had on day one where a few people submitted the uh, the correct flag and did not get points. We have gone back and manually awarded all those points. Uh, so we kind of cross reference everybody's answers, making sure we are good there. Uh, Tara and I every week will actually be going through to look at the uh, LinkedIn and Twitter post and awarding points uh, each week. We're, we're going to do it kind of one fell swoop versus always having to do it, you know, day in and day out. So just kind of keep uh, track of your points and make sure uh, within the week that, you know, they're added. Also, uh, make sure if you are uh, planning on publishing a write up uh, of your solve each week to not submit uh, and post that solve until that week's challenge is closed. So in essence, uh, since we've now closed week one challenge, you, you have now until uh, we uh, close out week two's challenge to post uh, the week one online, uh, then obviously you'll get your points for that once we uh, do that. We just want to make sure that uh, we have that closed so that if you, you know, spend a lot of time making that solve and writing the write up, that someone else isn't going in and seeing that answer to be able to kind of you know put that flag in uh, now, also custom artifacts you can submit right away though because yes. they're not going to be shown to the public so you're not giving away the solve and that way we're because that is a first to submit absolutely uh great thank you for pointing that out yeah the first person who submits uh the uh, custom artifact that does work and validates off everything that's what we will publish obviously we can't publish all of the same uh artifacts so the first person to submit that will get those points um as well and also make sure your write-up isn't just a screenshot with the flag you know as the answer you know just you know throwing that out there Put a put a little write up together. Don't have to be anything crazy. No no novels or anything like that. But uh, you know, just a little quick write up uh, for you on that. Um, so with that, uh, the last thing I want to bring up is I've added a notification to the CTF uh, website uh, as well as the Magnet Forensics Discord. Um, make sure to kind of read through that very quickly. But uh, if you will, on the CTF website, go into your profile settings. And under the affiliation section, add in your Discord name so we can award those points accordingly. And uh, in return, right under the affiliation section, there is a website section. If you will, please post your Twitter handle. So once again, we can award points and track people on who's uh, you know uh, commenting and uh, tweeting and using social. Uh, obviously, LinkedIn, we can cross-reference your name uh, pretty quickly pretty easily so just kind of keep that in mind that'll save us a little bit of work and obviously make sure we're giving everybody the points that they need and want um so with that let's talk about this week's challenge this let's week's challenge so, uh we're gonna also throw out a trivia question this week for some bonus points uh tara this week is your week um and you know i think you've made a great challenge definitely got a little <laughs> a little bit of a challenge there for everyone, um, but you know, before we issue that, let's uh, go ahead and start with the trivia question, and then we'll get to your week uh, question. So, with that, I'm going to turn it over to you. All right. So, this trivia question, we would need, or the first person to answer this in Discord is going to be awarded the points, and you only get one guess, so only one guess. So, um, hopefully, as we've been getting to know all of you on, on this virtual environment, we, you've been getting to know us as well. So, my trivia question is actually two parts and you need both parts to get the points is how many deployments have I done overseas and to where? So the first Ooh. person to get both Ooh. parts of that question will get awarded the points. Only one awesome. guess. Yep. <laughs> and right, you one guess. Tara often shares this on her bio slide. So if you're looking for a hint, hint, uh, hint. the beginning <laughs> of many of the talks Tara does, this is on her bio slide. And there are lots of those talks, so <laughs> it's fairly easy to find after a uh, virtual summit and everything else that we've done uh, together. So, yep, just keep that in mind. You get one guess. You got to have both the number of deployments and where. Uh, we'll be tracking that, uh, and we'll see who gets that uh, right first. Uh, so that's an awesome trivia question. Nice. Uh, got to <laughs> let them dig in. Yeah, they got to dig in a little bit on that one. Um, <laughs> So with that, let's go ahead and issue this week's challenge. 
All right, so I wrote this question actually just a couple of weeks ago, we had an event called Virtually Together and actually Jessica and I did a presentation together that was comparing um, Android data as well as uh, the data found in a Google takeout. And so in doing this, uh, this research with Jess, I actually learned a lot from Jessica. And so that's where I actually developed this question from was in, in this collaboration in uh, in this talk with the Android data. So my question uh, actually stems from that because I learned something. I hope you all did too. So my question is in this Android device, what domain was most recently viewed via an app that has picture in picture capability? <laughs> So Very hopefully nice. you're able to uh, dig down and see what that answer is. And like I said, in our collaboration with Jessica, hint, hint, uh, that might be <laughs> that might be a little bit of help if you wanted to go and revisit our talk that we did. A couple I'm ago. really looking forward to the write ups on this because I want to <laughs> see how people get to that answer. That's yeah, awesome. there's yeah, a lot too. of different ways of doing that for sure. Uh, <laughs> that's awesome. Very cool. Uh, and so just keep in mind, everybody. everyone, uh, the the points for each question each week will range depending on uh, how difficult the question is. So this one's going to be actually worth more points than week one. Uh, so just kind of keep that in mind. And uh, with that, is there anything else you all want to add? Uh, good luck and check out Cash Up tomorrow. We'll have Veronica Schmidt on. Mm -hmm. There you go. Cash and up thanks tomorrow. to everyone who's already participated in the CTF. Hopefully you're having fun and hopefully you continue to to have fun with all these challenges that we're presenting to you. Absolutely. And with that, uh, next week we will actually provide kind of a, a rough idea of where the, the points are and who's on the leaderboard uh, and just kind of give an, an idea on that for everyone as well. So uh, stay tuned for next and week. Uh, next oh. week, this session will include the solve from week one, right? Yeah. Yep, so yep. we'll go over next week will be the first week that we're going over a solve in this session. Absolutely. Yep. We'll actually be going through Jad's uh, uh, question and providing that solve uh, on here as well. So uh, thank you uh, just for pointing that out. Uh, and with that, everyone have a great week and uh, we'll see you next week. Good luck, everybody. See Bye. Ya.